my friends, and welcome to a special Easter edition of Leo's Amazing Kitchen. Today, we will be making traditional Italian Easter bread. We'll be needing these ingredients. We're going to be needing milk, sugar, eggs, sprinkles, instant yeast, butter, and flour, and a pinch of salt. Now we put in all of our ingredients except the flour and the sprinkles. We can put in the milk first, and we're gonna warm the milk before we put it in. Then we can put some of the sugar in. Next, we can put some of the yeast in. We can take a pinch of salt. Then, we can use some butter, because everything's better with butter. Then, we crack both of the eggs. Then we're going to mix it in. While this is mixing, we're going to pour four half cups of flour very slowly. Oh, it's looking dough. it until it looks like dough and make it not look so sticky but a little bit tacky. So you put some flour on your hands and then you try to make the dough into a big ball. Ooh, doughy. So you put it into the bowl and make a big ball. So once you have it into a ball, you wrap it in plastic for two hours and then wait for it to rise up. Yes, my Jesus. So we're wrapping it tightly and waiting for it to rise up. So here we have my sous chef, Hazel Juliet. So while we're waiting for our dough to rise, we're going to be coloring some Easter eggs. Ooh. It's been 84 years. Just kidding, it's two hours. It has risen! We put it on the parchment paper. And then we gotta punch it! We gotta flatten it out a little. That was your last chance! So you need to make 12 equal pieces. So we cut our dough into 12 equal pieces. Now we roll it, roll it, roll. Now, once we roll it out, my mom made me a little cheat sheet from this line to this line that are 14 inches. That's how long you want these ropes to be. This is about as long as it needs to be. And you do that for all of them. So we made all of our rolls now it's time to braid them. Mm -hmm. 
and then we put them together to form a circle. And now we do all the rest. Now we put them on here. Once they are braided, we put a clean towel over them for one hour to let them rise more. So now we wait. Can we watch the Trolls movie now? And we're back! So I gotta take a quick look how and how they're coming along. They got very big. We made an egg wash. So we used one teaspoon of water and one egg. And we're gonna take that egg wash, brush it on the dough. It's like you're painting. You wanna get a nice coat of egg wash on all of them. Remember the Easter eggs we made earlier? Well, now we have to put these in the middle. It provides a nice decoration. These eggs are so pretty. Now for my favorite part, the sprinkle. Don't be shy about the sprinkles. More sprinkles, the better. Your oven will be preheated to 350. Now we're gonna put them in the oven for 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes. Let's see how they turned out. Mmm, smells so good. Now this is traditional Italian Easter bread. Looks delicious. Mmm, so good. Be careful, they'll be pretty hot once you take them out of the oven. Now, we're gonna transfer them to a wire rack for them to cool. Now, one thing left to do. Try it. Enjoy your Italian Easter bread. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the next episode of Leo's Amazing Kitchen Show.